Introduction We need models in which the credibility of a central bank is endogenous to its actions. Mervyn King, The Quest for Nominal Stability, Lessons from Three Decades with Inflation Targeting, Sveragis Riksbank, 23, the 24th of May, 2024. The summer of 2021 vividly illustrated the dangers of relying too heavily on baseline assumptions under high uncertainty. Central banks, including the Fed, adhered for too long to the narrative that inflation was transitory, delaying decisive policy actions that could have mitigated inflation persistence. Critics such as Larry Summers highlighted these missteps at the time, emphasizing that the reluctance to respond to growing evidence of persistent inflation risks allowed inflation pressures to build and the costs of inaction would likely exceed the risks of over-tightening. These warnings foreshadowed the difficulties central banks later faced in re-anchoring medium-term inflation expectations and combating inflation premiums embedded in sticky price and wage-setting behavior. In this paper, we will illustrate how the erosion of central bank credibility signifies an important structural change in the economy, and that central banks could do more to ensure credibility is maintained, since once it is lost, the path to restore macroeconomic stability becomes more difficult. To address these types of challenges, the Central Bank of Armenia, CBA, has proposed a formal change to its analytical framework that embodies a transparent risk management approach referred to as the Forecasting and Policy Analysis System, FPS, Mark II. This approach emphasizes constructing alternative scenarios, such as one in which inflation proves transitory and another in which inflation is persistent, to prepare policymakers and financial markets for potential adverse outcomes. By evaluating the costs of delayed responses under each scenario, the approach ensures that central banks are positioned to act decisively, depending on how the data evolve. Preparing financial markets for such possibilities enables faster adjustments and reduces the risks of losing credibility. A critical tool in implementing this strategy is the Endogenous Policy Credibility Model, Endocred. Costanian et al., 2022a, applied a closed U.S. economy version of the model to the summer of 2021 that demonstrated how an insufficiently aggressive response to inflation allowed inflationary pressures to become embedded in sticky prices and wages, complicating the task of re-anchoring medium-term inflation expectations, something the Fed and other central banks have continued to grapple with years later. Unlike long-term inflation expectations measured in financial markets, which have remained relatively anchored, medium-term expectations, embodied in the pricing of infrequently adjusted goods and wages have drifted upward. This divergence highlighted the importance of distinguishing between different inflation expectations and addressing persistent inflation premiums with timely policy responses. The Open Economy Endocred Model, Costanian et al., 2022 c, extends this analysis to include exchange rate dynamics and risk premia, addressing the vulnerabilities of small open economies. Together, these models form the analytical backbone of the CBA's FPS Mark II framework, which integrates scenario-based decision-making and non-linear modeling to manage uncertainty. The structure of the paper is as follows. Section 2 is a brief historical overview of central bank credibility. Section 3 introduces a linear, canonical, multi-country gap model for constructing macroeconomically consistent projections. Section 4 presents additional elements, including the endogenous policy credibility process that turns the canonical model into endocred and provides a simulation for the U.S. and the Euro area during the pandemic. The simulations illustrate the mechanics of the model and the implications that a lack of central bank credibility can have on the transmission of monetary policy. However, since central bank credibility encompasses much more than what can exist in a model, Section 5 discusses the broader design of monetary policy frameworks that piggybacks off Ben Bernanke's recommendations to the Bank of England to adopt a scenarios-based approach to monetary policy. Section the 6 simulates an FPS Mark II exercise for the U.S. using Endocred to produce case scenarios we believe are pertinent for risk management in current day. Section 7 wraps up the analytical discussion by returning to small open economies such as the United Kingdom and Israel contrasting how credibility has evolved in each country and the implications for the future. Section 8 concludes.